is Triple X Productions Music on Steroids. Uh, Iga Zelia has been getting a lot of flack from the industry. Uh, she, she's uh, uh, been taking a lot of, lot of blows, a lot of low blows, I would say, as far as her rapping ability. Uh, some even question if she's writing her rhymes. Uh, Think of nothing. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> Uh, what what y'all got to say about that? Y'all do y'all think the industry is being too tough? Who wanna go first? I think they're being too tough because I'm gonna compare her to Tiger Woods and golf man. You know what I'm saying? He took a lot of flex. You know, but when you got you know you got Iggy, but you got a lot of black rappers that's uh being getting ghost written songs and and really not students of the game. So I think you just target her. I, I believe it's kind of unfair. Man, my honest opinion is, I don't think they're being hard enough. You know, we as the consumer, the listener of hip hop, man, we got to demand more from our artists. You know, because the foundation of hip hop was not only built on the battle and the storytelling, you know, and the slick wordplay or whatever, but it was built on, you know, you know, it was built on politics. You know, it was it was a way for you know, it was a way for the artist to say, hey, you know, New York and LA is not, you know, the streets are not paved with gold. You know, this is how we live, and we living in poverty. You know, we living in rat infested apartment buildings and houses and subdivisions and, you know, projects and stuff like that. We got it hard, you know, and then what's happening, you got a lot of people that coming along now, like the Young Thugs and your uh, Ray Smurda and Bobby Smurda. And even Iggy Azalea, that's completely apathetic to the situation. They don't care. But my thing is, they not being as hard on those artists as they are Iggy. You know what I'm saying? And my thing is, I mean, it's because she's white. You know what I mean? So they just, they trying to be extra hard on her because of her skin color. But you know, what about these guys, Young Thug or Bobby Smurda that you name? Why not? Why, why not come? Why not go with them? But see, that's my thing. And see, I go, I go at them because, you know, I consider myself a hip hop peer, just like you got. Right. You know, I believe that, you know, for everything, you know, pop that you put out, you should still be able to come back and say, hey, man, we living in the ghetto, we living in the slums, man. You know, we trying to get up out of there. Can somebody help us? Because, you know, hip hop was a plea for help, man. Right. In the 70s when it was founded, man, people were like, man, please help us. Get us out of here. But see, nowadays you got these cats that really not studying hip hop, really not right. going to roots. Right. Uh, what hip hop came, and that's a problem. And you know, you got guys like me that's really doing it because of the passion, because of the love of it. This and uh, you know, you got these younger guys that just in the trying to make a kick up, you know, trying to make a little hot song, and, you know, just to make the money off of it. So. And see, and and it's sad because that's what you know. That's what hip hop has really come to. You know, hey, I'm gonna make a hot single. I'm not gonna make a whole album for me. You know, for the person to enjoy 15, right, right, 16 right, right. tracks. A good quality album. Right. A, a body good of quality work. Album. Yeah. Yeah. A body of work. Yeah. yeah. A body of work. You got the. You know, you got artists that, that get a hot song and probably make a. Uh, Couple more mediocre songs that just put like rest album fillers in the song. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just some yeah. skip over to get to the good song. Cause uh, I well, mean, you cheating your consumer, man. You right. Cheating, you cheating your, your, your you cheating your fan base. Right. You know what I mean? You're fooling them, really. You know? I mean, yeah. It's sad, man. Because you know, a lot of these rappers now, you know, like even uh, you know, and, and I'm not just picking on them, but I'm using her as an example. Even Iggy Azalea, man, she was born with a silver spoon in her mouth. Even, even you, even the hip hop crossover artist Justin Bieber. So was Drake. Yeah, yeah, Drake. Drake, he was uh. But yeah, he, Drake's, you know, you know, Drake's upside is he made good music. I mean, in my eye, yeah, he really catches about But the thing, you know, but the thing about Drake is, you know, people hate on him because all they talk about is winning man, and how much he getting or whatever. But at the end of the day, that's what Drake knows. 
hip hop is about talking about what you know and speaking the truth. If that's what you know, that's what you know. If it ain't, it ain't. And that's what you got, like a bunch of guys out here now, all they want to talk about, man, I'm out here shooting them up, shoot them up, bang, bang. I'm getting this girl, I'm getting that girl. I with you. Yeah. Yeah, what, what does that even mean, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but, and then, you know, you, you look at them, and they ain't doing nothing. You know, if, if you ain't about that life, don't rap about that life. I think we had this discussion before, man, while I was telling you, man, I think Drake one of the realest rappers in the game. Right. He don't lie. Yeah. You know he yeah. is not fictitious. He don't rap about what he's not going through. You know, at least he's keeping it real with himself. Right. So, you know, that's why I live in one of the realest rappers, because he just, you know, he's staying true to himself. Yeah, and I mean, you know, and and I and I know I jumped on Iggy pretty hard, but you know, like I said, man, you, you got these black rappers out here that don't, you know, they don't know. You know, back in the day, man, these cats would go out and they would walk, you know, they would they be out there marching. They be out there, you know, raising money, you know, they be out there talking to the kids. Hey kids, don't be like what we used to be. You know, be like what we are now. We role models now. You know, you had Tupac, you had Biggie. You see what I'm saying? You know, you had Cube and Ice T. Yeah, they talking about killing cops, but that's what they knew. They hated the cops, but at the same time, they told the kid, "Don't be like us." You know, do not grow up and be like us. You see what I'm saying? Be better than us, and that's what we have. You know, as fans and as artists, you know, we have a responsibility right, right. to say, "Hey, you know, be better than me." You know, even, you know, even with my little nephews, man, you know, I see them every day I see them. First thing I do, I hug them and I tell them I love them, you know, and it, it might not mean a lot right now, but it's going to stick with them, you know, because I think, you know, we, as, especially as young black adults, you know, young black males, you know, we need somebody to love us and we need to love somebody. You know, it, I mean, it, like I said, it, it's all, you know, it's all in hip hop. You know, it's more than just rap. You know, hip hop is a culture. Cause I feel like if we make it to a certain status, man, you have to really take on that responsibility. Right, you know, man, right. You, know, you got millions of kids, you know, and grown up too. Uh, yeah. You know, every, everywhere you move, you know, we got somebody watching. Yeah. And you really gotta live by it up. And see, that's like, uh, even when, Charles Barker said, you know what Charles Barker said, yeah, I'm, not role, role yeah, I'm not a role model. I'm not a role model. You are a role model. So so Charles Barker said that, but Carl Malone said, we don't choose to be role models. We're chosen. Right, right. So when you make it to a certain stature, man, you have to, you gotta take, you gotta take everything that comes with it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And so you gotta think about it. Even me, as a, you know, even I as just a regular dude, I got people looking at me right. all the time, you know. You got people looking at you all the time, even more so now because you're in the limelight. Cortez got people looking at him, right. you know, because you know we we running a website, you know, we we putting it out there. So if we curse, if we smoke, if we drink, whatever we do, if we out there party, you know, somebody gonna see it, somebody gonna report it, somebody gonna say, well, hey, I thought this person was A, B, and C, you know, they D, E, and F. You know, so so we got to watch what we do. That's the D. Duh. D for duh. 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 Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So I mean, you know, but that 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 just go back to what I said, man. We have a responsibility. You know, why are we not every weekend? Why are we not out there, you know, at the community centers? You know, why are we not out here marching, you know, for Mike Brown? You know, why, you know, for uh, Tamir Rice, why, why are we not marching? Why are we not taking the stand for this stuff? You know, because that's what, you know, that's what our forefathers of hip hop did. You know, that's what Pac was doing. You know, Pac was at the Black Panther meeting. Public enemy. Exactly, public yeah, enemy. Yes, one. Exactly. I mean, I can go on. <clears throat> I mean, but, I, you know, like I said, man, I think it's up to us.